Moja, mbili, tatu, ine, tano, sita, saba, nane, tisa, kumi. Kumi na moja, kumi na mbili. Due to unknown circumstances, many people are born differently. Some have no arms, others have no legs. Some are born with mysterious skin conditions, turning them into trees, while others are born with no limbs at all. But this never stops them to chase their dreams. Some people complain of having a few fingers and toes. Some also think that having five fingers is not enough. Yet those who have six fingers also think they are not normal, try hide and omit themselves from the public. These three brothers were all born with this condition that has affected their lives in almost every factor. But how does the society treat them and how do they cope with it? As you can see, every hand of mine has six fingers and every feet has six toes. So counting them all, both toes and fingers, the total is 24. Finding himself like this made him feel uncomfortable with himself. He could see others having normal limbs, arms with ten fingers, and feet with ten toys, then wanted to remove some extra fingers and toys. But the mother warned him not to ever try this, as there is one of her children who died after attempting to remove those unwanted parts. Uh, yes, there was a sibling who died before I was born. He died when they tried cutting off the remaining fingers at the hospital by when he was born. And he bled too much and ended up dying. I'm not the last born. If he had not died, we would have been four children and were now three. And since losing that one, my mom vowed not to ever try that again so that she could never lose another child on silly and avoidable mistakes. He and his elder siblings all share the same issue of deformity on both hands and feet, but having smaller fingers compared to them made him think that maybe removing them was better because it brought some inferiority complex where he always considered himself not normal, feeling shy around other children of his age. Polyductly is one of the most common congenital hand abnormalities. It is a condition in which a baby is born with one or more extra fingers. It's a common condition that often runs in families. The extra fingers are usually small and abnormally developed. This condition develops when a baby is developing in the womb. Hands and feet begin as flat, paddle-like extremities until the fingers and toys start to separate, which usually happens around week six of pregnancy. A digit will split into two parts in some cases instead of forming a single finger or toe. Like many people with different abnormalities, Alex had a rough childhood. Struggling to move on with this condition, keeping in mind that he was not born like others. That made himself always try isolate and omit himself from others. Uh, when I started going to school, my colleagues would often come to me, touch me and say, you should go home and remove these extra fingers in order for me to be like them. But teachers knew it would not work out well for me and instead warned me not to ever give it a try. But as a kid, I felt like cutting them off and being like others was a better option. Alex grew, became an adult, developed some self-confidence, learned and bought a motorcycle which helps him earn a living. As any other person, he wanted to be in a relationship. He wanted someone to love and to be loved. He was also afraid on one side, wondering whether his deformity would not hinder his relationship. I was fortunate enough that the first girl I dated was a Christian and told me that being like this means that I have something special within me, which brought some confidence in me and motivated me to keep going. 
that one was the only girl that was willing to truly love him unconditionally. And they ended up getting married, living together, and he's now a father to two boys. Though he ended up bringing in another woman and one left, but he plans on going back and bringing her back home. I had not married her, and she went so that I would pay dowry, the bright price. After paying that bright price, I'll get her back. All I can tell my wife is that wherever she is, I'll come back for her. Mm. 38-year-old Festus was also born with this abnormality. He was born in this village, and he also tells us more of his life. Mm. Uh, since young, I realized that my fingers and my toys were many and grew up asking God why he created me differently. To me, I could imagine that maybe there's some supernatural powers behind this. Because whatever work I do with my hand, I do it perfectly than other normal people. When he sees something done with hands for the first time, he gives it a try and having many fingers has never been a barrier, being the reason he never had the inferiority complex. Before developing too much confidence, I also asked my parents why I was born like this and asked whether this could not be a threat to my life. They assured me that there is nothing wrong with being like this. They were happy for me and were never bothered by this condition. At school, fellow classmates would always run to him during the break time as they believed that having too many fingers meant that he's a lucky person and being with him gives more chances to be lucky in different life aspects. They would come to him and give him some money which made him happier. Time came and I met a girl who loved me for who I was despite the poverty of this condition and we've been together for four years. Having many fingers to him means being stronger, energetic and capable of doing more than what other normal people can do. This 48-year-old is also having the same body condition. Like anyone, he wondered why having more fingers than others. After realizing that I was created like this, I approached my dad and asked why he had five fingers yet I had six. That was before he died, and as a father, he explained how we're both normal. From that day and onwards, I started believing in myself. The society treated him as an abnormal person who can't achieve a thing since dropping out in primary. The reason he dropped was struggling to hold a pen and write, plus teachers who confronted and could beat him when trying to write, yet he had done his best. And that forced him to head school and drop out. Despite having more fingers and toes, they're like any one of us. A reminder that everyone who is physically challenged or deformed should not be omitted, for no one chooses to be born in a different way. They deserve to be treated with love, care, and more respect. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.